this was the Young Black Leadership Summit. And I say that because it's important you know the context at the White House, all right? It's important you know where this took place. That's why I am introducing things as I, as I do. So a woman was asked to get up and pray, and she's an Ethiopian immigrant here in America. And, and I'm playing this for a reason. Again, there's something delightful and innocent about it. And I'm giving you context. I didn't just say it's a woman getting up to pray. I'm saying it's a black woman because it's the Young Black Leadership Summit, and there's something to this that I want to discuss. All right. So uh, let's listen as this woman named Mahelet gets up before the mic. I just want to say thank you, Mr. President. And I know we have a political warfare right now, but I strongly believe that it is a spiritual one as well. And I want to make <laughs> and I want to make sure that. I mean, <clears throat> I know that Americans are going to wake up and we're going to get back to looking to God instead of social media and we're going to look back to Jesus because Jesus saves and this country was founded upon, the, the Constitution was built on godly principles and we're going to fight for that and I just want to encourage you guys to pray every single day for this nation. I want you guys to pray and pray and pray. All right, so first, she's absolutely right. It's spiritual warfare. Read my book, Jezebel's War Against America. If you haven't, get it and read it. Yes, there's spiritual warfare in America, and it, it's not God versus the Democrats or Satan versus the Republicans. It's Satan against the people of America, all right? It's the devil wanting to destroy and divide our country. That's where it starts. It's important to recognize that this woman is a self-identified Ethiopian immigrant, a reminder that we are a nation with millions of immigrants, that ultimately all of us got here as immigrants, except for the Native Americans who've been so mistreated in our history. So there, it, it's important to say we welcome, we welcome immigrants here. That is a message we need to send out. So I'm I'm saying that as part of this woman getting up in prayer, a reminder that we welcome immigrants to our country, that immigrants have enriched our country and will continue to enrich our country. And some come in here with great need, but really wanting to be part of our country and become part of the fabric of our country. That is wonderful. That is positive. That, that's part of who America is. So let us shout that out, whether it was intended or not, let us shout that message out. And let us say that there is a legal process for people to come into our country and become incorporated into our country, just like this young woman. And now she goes on to pray. <laughs> people bow their heads. Uh, you don't see the president bowing his head. You can watch on, on YouTube and see this whole clip as we play it during the show. But now her prayer. I love God and I'm, I want to pray <laughs> real quick. All right. Okay. All right. I don't know if you guys want to bow your head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Dear God, I'm not really good at this, but um, I just want to say thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to be in the White House. Thank you for giving us a great leader like Trump, Mr. Donald Trump, and I would like to thank you for um, waking up our nation. God protect us. God protect our president as he's going through so much right now, so much scrutiny. God, I believe that you were, you gave him to us, and I believe that he's going to accomplish so much more. I know you have more for us. Jesus, I ask you to protect us and walk with us. <laughs> um, in, in Jesus' name, the enemy tries to attack us every single day. He tries to discourage us, but he has no room. He has no room, no more. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so I, I love the lack of professionalism in the prayer and, as I said, the innocence of it. And it was interesting out in the audience there that some of those attending had hands raised as, as she was praying and, and most had their eyes closed. Uh, look, whoever the president is, when you are in there praying for the president, you're going to thank God for the president and you're going to pray for the president. All right. So here's what where I want to encourage us, regardless of the color of our skin, regardless of our ethnic origins, regardless of our current political views, 
regardless of whether we would vote for President Trump again or not, or whether we would never vote for him, regardless of all that, can we hear the simplicity of this immigrant's prayer? And can we agree and say, God, have mercy on our nation and God, use our president for good? You say, well, how'd you pray when President Obama was in office? Because you didn't vote for him. Correct. I did not vote for him. What was my prayer? God, make him the greatest president in our nation's history and use him as a champion of righteousness. That's how I prayed for him. That's how I prayed for our president because he was our president. I didn't vote for him, but once elected, he's our president. So can I encourage you, rather than get caught up in all the news cycles swirling all around us and the emotions and even dividing the body, Messiah's own body, the body of Christ, can I encourage you, let's recognize we're in a spiritual battle. It is Satan against the people of the world, Satan against the people of the United States. Let's join together, standing against him, submitting ourselves to God and praying, Lord, your best for President Trump and your best for this nation in Jesus' name. Can we do that? 